just behind me stands the Grand Hotel Scarborough and a grand old building it is too. It stood there for 150 years or more. I stayed there about 30 years ago with some friends of mine and I remember we had this joke going on between us. Watch out for a woman in a red dress because she's a ghost. No word of a lie, we were all standing at the bottom of the wonderful sweeping staircase in the foyer when this woman in a red dress started coming down the stairs towards us. There were eight of us and we all saw her. And as she took step after step after step closer to us, it became more and more obvious she was just one of the hotel guests. So we had a laugh about that. But although we had a great time there, I would not have stayed there if I'd known about the spooky goings on that have been reported. Some guests have even been known to leave early because of the strange and disturbing supernatural events that have occurred there, like poltergeist activity with objects flying about the room of their own accord and pictures falling off walls for no reason at all. Then there's the banging and the knocking and the shaking of doors when there's nobody behind them. It reminds me of that film, The Haunting from the 1960s, where there's a do 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 on the door and a girl in bed going Aah! and it's happened there. Then there's the phantom screeching or laughter or singing and music, but not modern day music, old time music. And then there's the lady in the red dress. I wonder who she is and why she keeps appearing. But when you think about all of the activity that must have taken place in that hotel over the last one and a half centuries and all the experiences and the emotions and maybe trauma who knows what's left its imprint on that space but I'm sure that tales like this would make some people actually want to stay there if you like ghost stories, check out the Facebook page of Ghost Keeper of York because he's got some brilliant ones. Or the website www.ghostkeeper.co.uk Anyway, according to the blue plaque on the front wall of the hotel, before the hotel stood there, there was a boarding house and Anne Bronte of the famous Bronte sisters, the writer, she stayed there in 1849 and she died there of tuberculosis. She was only 29 and she's buried in St Mary's Church which is up on the hill in a graveyard next to St Mary's Church overlooking the sea.